mobile technology is um, a very pervasive item and uh, from the fire service perspective now we're starting to afford those tools and um, um, we're introducing more and more software that can help them uh, do their jobs better. The fire department has always strived to stay ahead of the uh, emerging technologies and the latest programs that will help me as a field incident commander do my job better, manage resources. Ultimately, it's a, it's a great advantage to the uh, citizens of San Diego. Our own fire chief, uh, Brian Fennessy, has decided to dedicate a full-time position in our department just towards looking uh, at emerging technology. That person's sole job is to look at what's out there uh, that can be uh, investigated, used by the department to um, leverage technologies that'll benefit uh, firefighters, fire managers to uh, do their job more effectively. We use tablets, smartphones, PC computers in the vehicles now to bring the technology from the office out into the field to make that information immediately available, accessible, and updated instantaneously. I think a great um, example of uh, being at the tip of the spear for San Diego Fire Rescue is uh, one of the technologies that we're looking at right now is a, um, a collaborative software program called Scout. It uh, basically allows many different agencies, many different people to collaborate on, um, on a map. The near real-time tactical mapping allows the uh, incident commander in the field not only by uh, seeing where the units are responding from, the path they're responding, and um, also allows me to give them a heads up on situational awareness if they're in the path of the fire and make sure I keep my crews out in the field safe by actually seeing the apparatus on my map. We use a pretty good weather app. That's the wind. We can turn on humidity. Now I have this on my tablet in the field. We can notify the division that there's been a wind change. We can notify the IC that there's predicted weather, that there's a storm front approaching, if there's lightning approaching for a, a water rescue. We can make those notifications right immediately to the engine commander or to the division where they're working so that information can be shared and it won't be a surprise to them. Wildland plans on uh, mobile devices are a great asset to incident commanders. It gives me a breakdown on how, much, how many resources to order. It shows me evacuation points. It uh, shows me the 100-year uh, plan where the fire has burned at a certain location in the past. It uh, gives me a topographical map of the area. And uh, overall, it increases safety for personnel and it gives the incident commander greater situational awareness. San Diego Fire is, is definitely on the cutting edge of technology, and that can be a maybe mistaken as uh, a lot of people think if you're on the cutting edge, you're maybe a little too far out. Um, I believe we're, we're on the cutting edge, we're not on the bleeding edge, we're on the cutting edge in that we're, we're very thoughtful uh, and very methodical about trying to find out what's really out there. The technology in EMS, and especially in the fire service, has changed dramatically since I came on the department in 1990. And now we're actually using iPads. On the iPad, there's actually technology to capture patient information, not only from the paramedic um, on scene, but also from hospital organizations. Hi, did you call 911? I did. What's your name, dear? My name's Maureen. Hi, Maureen. My name's Mark. What's going on today? When they put in a name, uh, a date of birth, a social security number that they can reliably identify uh, a particular patient, they'll know much more about that patient sometimes than the patient themselves can even tell them. Um, that gets them to the right hospital, gets them the right treatment, and then in turn, the information that uh, the paramedics and EMTs are able to put into the system uh, can even go ahead of the transport of that patient to the right hospital and can notify doctors, it can notify uh, nurses uh, about what's coming so that they have situational awareness, they know what's coming to the hospital, they can better prepare and, and, uh, and expedite uh, good patient care. We also have the ability through StreetSense to um, gather analytics through algorithms so we can look at um, frequent users of 911. We can push notifications to our crews if there's a dangerous patient that, that we've run on before or that uh, the police department's had an issue with. So again, that technology is allowing us to basically drive everything we're doing from data and we're able to use it as intelligence. The leap in technology is sometimes scary, 
to changing the way we've always done things. But I can't tell you how much it's going to improve their situational awareness, the safety of their firefighters, the safety of their citizens they're there to serve. With a smartphone or a tablet device, they can push out updates from one central location and everyone gets the information immediately. It's all available immediately to the troops.